Diabetes is a disease which is being talked by everyone. We discuss a lot of things. Everybody advises us. They talk about the reversal. And we think reversal is cure. But it is not. We would like to get away from this problem forever without taking medicines, which is not possible. And everyone talks about only about type 2 diabetes. It's a multifactorial disease. Interaction of too many factors. We call it risk factors. Starting from obesity, eating habits, sedentary lifestyle, stress, cholesterol. All these things contribute a percentage. Finally, the result is type 2 diabetes. That is why everybody takes up one risk factor. Nobody talks about type 1 diabetes because everybody believes type 1 means only insulin. No tablets will work. It's a lifelong insulin. And people who are suffering from type 1 diabetes, you know, they feel they are, they are ignored by the society, by the world. But it is not like that. People are thinking about that, doing something. A lot of researchers. Every disease we would like to prevent. If it's an infectious disease, we go for a vaccine. But if it's a disease associated with lifestyle, difficult. But researchers do not leave it. So what do they do? And what they have done? A new medicine introduced into the market. It is not related to type 2, but it is with type 1. Now, people are curious to know what have you done for type 1 diabetes. Let us talk something about it. I am a Dr. Bala Subraman. So I don't want to talk much about type 2, but type 1, you know very well the reasons behind type 1. What, what causes type 1? There are three things. One is genetics. Second is environmental factors. And third is what is called autoimmune disease or disorder. Genetics, we can do nothing. It's by birth. You inherit certain things. You get it because of your parents. You cannot change your parents. So nothing can be done. Nothing much can be done. But even then, people are trying to modify the genes through which you acquire this, the susceptibility of this disease. They are doing research on that also to modify the particular gene that's being done. Next is environmental factors. Many things are talked about environment starting from the atmosphere we live, the pollution, the viruses, unhygienic measures. What can we do? We can, to some extent, modify. Maybe 50% we can do something. We can lead a hygienic life. We can avoid certain things, exposure to viruses. All this can be done. But even then, it is only 50% because we cannot isolate ourselves from the society. The final thing is autoimmune disease. What is that? Auto means without your initiation and act like an involuntary thing which happens of its own. Autoimmune, that means the immune system responds automatically without a stimulus. It stimulates itself to produce something. What is that which is produced? An immune system recognizes a substance which is which is a foreign to that particular person. The concept of immune system is self and non-self. Mine and it's not mine. Take my own immune system. My immune system knows that this liver, this kidney, this stomach, this muscle, everything belongs to me. So the immune system accepts it. If a foreign thing, an invader, an organism enters, the immune system recognizes it. It doesn't belong to me. It doesn't belong to my system, my body. So the reacts, the immune system tries to destroy that by producing what is called antibodies. These antibodies will try to destroy the thing which doesn't belong to my own system. But sometimes for unknown reasons, the immune system accidentally, it thinks that my own cell, my own tissue doesn't belong to me. Thinking like that, the immune system starts producing an antibody and it starts destroying my own cell. That means my own immune system is working against my own cells. That particular antibody which is produced automatically without any stimulus, 
you call it autoantibodies and a disease or disorder which is because of this production of antibodies autoantibodies you call it autoimmune disease in diabetes mellitus type 1 the same thing happens my immune system starts destroying my own beta cells of the pancreas which produces insulin as long as the cell is there the beta cell is there the immune system continues to produce antibodies slowly the number of beta cells starts decreasing the remaining beta cells starts producing extra insulin to maintain my blood sugar but slowly even then that fades once all the islet cells or the beta cells are destroyed so you become a type 1 diabetes mellitus now you need insulin from outside you become an insulin dependent diabetic patient this is how a type 1 diabetes develops if i have the power to destroy the antibodies produced by my own immune system then if those antibodies are destroyed or removed my beta cells will be spared this is the concept behind the new drug which is introduced very recently november 2022 teplizumab this is a drug it's a monoclonal antibodies this antibodies when it is introduced into your body at a particular stage we can do something for these people now your question is does it prevent diabetes mellitus type 1 diabetes mellitus i'm sorry it is not then what does it do it really postpones the occurrence of type 1 diabetes mellitus how as I said, it destroys the antibodies produced by my own immune system against the beta cells, the insulin secreting cells. Now your question is, oh, it doesn't prevent. After all, it postpones. What is the use of postponing a problem? Well, remember, all these decades of years, all these years, we have been doing nothing for this type 1 diabetic people. We have been manufacturing insulin only, different types of insulin. But this is a good start. Postponing a problem means he is protected during that time. Now the question is how long it postpones? In an average, it postpones around two years. For some, it may be three years or four years. For some, it may be one and a half years. What is the use of postponing this problem? As I said, an eight-year-old boy, a person who doesn't know what is diabetes, who is not able to accept daily injections. For that person, you know, two years is a very big duration. You are postponing the complications of diabetes, mellitus 1, type 1, for at least for two years. If I postpone this for another two years, if a person is around 10 years, now he is a bit mature to accept his problem. You are preventing the pricks for two years. Now the next question is how many is it in injection or tablet form it is an in injectable form how many injections should be given 14 injections to be given for 14 days it is given intravenously the next question is how much does it cost this for indian money it's around 11 lakhs per injection so 14 injections it comes around 1.5 crores not affordable for a middle class person, for a poor person. But when a vaccine was introduced for COVID, it was costly. Now it is available everywhere. Like that, it's a good start, you know. Slowly the government will look into that. It will make available for even poor people. A common man will get. Teplizumab is a real first step, a new hope for type 1 people. Next, is there any side effect for these drugs? Not much, not life-threatening. Mild reactions will be there. And one thing is observed as a side effect of this is a temporary reduction in the white blood cells. And once this medicine is completed, the course is completed, even that comes to normal, fine. So what next? 
people are not going to stop here. A drug which is introduced, a drug which postpones a problem for two years, it's the first step towards a success, a big success. So what will they do? One thing, they will try to improve this drug so that it protects you, it prevents the problem for another type five years or 10 years like that. We hope that everything will be done because people are working for us, working for people who are suffering from type one diabetes. So this is something about a new drug which is introduced into the market very recently. The FDA has approved this drug for human use and we'll wait and see how long it will take to give a permanent solution for this type one diabetes. The next important thing about this is at what stage it will prevent. This is very important. Type one diabetes does not come just like that, not like an attack. This comes in stages. What is a stage? There are three stages. The first stage is you start producing autoantibodies in your body. There are about four types of antibodies, autoantibodies produced. Now you have around one or two autoantibodies. Unless you check the blood, you cannot find that you have these antibodies. But this person does not have any symptoms. So he will not go for a testing. So this is first stage. Second stage is you have two or more autoantibodies. Now the beta cells are destroyed to the extent of 50%. Now, because of that, the person may get on and off symptoms. His sugars, his blood sugar level may go for a spike for some time or sometimes normal like that, fluctuating values. And I may even call this as a pre-diabetic stage. At this stage, if you go and test your blood, you will find these two types of antibodies present. This is second stage. Third stage is more than three antibodies or the four antibodies are present there. The person has acquired the disease, he will get all the symptoms and signs, he may get all the complications of this disease. Here also, you can find the autoantibodies if you do a blood test. In these three stages, when should I take this particular drug? This is suitable for people who are in the second stage only. If they go to third stage, this drug will not work because antibodies may be there, but there is no beta cells, all are destroyed. You cannot regenerate beta cells, so it is not possible. During the second stage, you have around two to three types of autoantibodies. These antibodies can be destroyed, so the remaining cells, the remaining beta cells can be preserved. So when will you give? Simple. Second stage. You can prevent the person going into your third stage. So if at all a person wants to have this particular drug, he should go for testing and he should know with on which stage he is. And if he comes under the category of second stage, you can give this medicine and it will be benefited. The person will be benefited for this. So this is all about this teplizumab the monoclonal antibody which postpones the occurrence of type 1 diabetes and shall we meet some other time with another video like this thank you